Welcome back to OTK's Extra Good Things. And today I'm making uh, coconut rice uh, with lots of things in it. So there's going to be corn and lime and charred beans, etc. Uh, but the extra good thing is a peanut and coconut crunch. It's a wonderful thing to have in a jar on your shelf and to sprinkle over a whole lot of things that need a bit of crunch. And um, I've started the, the rice here by uh, cooking some onion in coconut oil with some lime leaves and salt. And I'm just gonna soften the onion for about 10 minutes before I add desiccated coconut. While I wait for um, the onion to cook, I'm gonna make uh, the peanut crunch. So I need another pan and I'm gonna warm it up here, medium high heat. And I'm gonna, again, uh, melt a bit of um, coconut oil. It's a small amount. And once that's hot, I'm going to add peanuts. Coconut and rice are such a lovely combination. You've got that nice sweetness and uh, that goes really well with, with fish. Actually, any protein, it goes well with chicken as well. So we've got something which is kind of a platform on which you can load loads of different things. This uh, coconut oil has melted and I'm going to add some salted roasted peanuts and I'm going to add some desiccated coconut and I'm going to add some chili flakes. I'm going to add some uh, fried shallots in there as well in a minute and a bit of sugar so it's kind of sweet and spicy and hot. So I'm going to stir this in order not to uh, burn the coconut and this will be ready as soon as the coconut gets a really nice brown color. So I th I'd say that's been uh, on for about three minutes and the coconut has taken on a really nice color and the peanuts as well. They were roasted, but you get a bit more color there. And to stop the cooking, I'm just gonna transfer it into, the, into a bowl. So I'm just waiting for, uh, for the coconut and peanuts to cool down. As soon as they cool down, I'm gonna mix them up with the uh, fried shallots and the uh, sugar, and that would be our peanut crunch. So you want the onions to go really nice and translucent. They're getting sweeter and sweeter as I cook them. Um, so you can see that they're translucent and I'm gonna add some uh, desiccated coconut and cook that. Again, coconut can burn really easily. So you wanna just keep your eye on it. I think, you know, one or two minutes, it's gonna start getting color and that's when it's ready. So I can see that the coconut is going a bit brown, which is where it wants to go. And now it's time to add uh, the rice. So this is basmati rice and it's just been um, washed. So all the rice is in there and I'm going to just stir the rice so it gets coated by the oil and mixes up with the onions. So it all comes together really nicely. It's all there. Now I'm going to add some uh, full fat coconut milk and some water. And I'm going to take the temperature down now to low. Um, and now we're going to cook the rice and that's going to take about 15 minutes. So I'm just going to give it one last little stir. So everything comes together. And you're not allowed to open it for 15 minutes. So give it the final look. And 15 minutes. It's really important to, when you follow uh, this recipe and similar recipes, that you uh, follow the ratio of liquid to rice because rice, you really want the right amount of liquid. If you have, if you get it wrong, it could be really soggy and overcooked and well, or it could go um, too dry. So follow the, 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 the proportions that are specified in the recipe. So, um, so while I wait for the rice to cook, and come together, I'm gonna uh, finish, finish my crunch. So um, this is the coconut and the roasted peanuts and the chilies and they've kind of cooled down now. So they go into the food processor. And I'm also going to add these shop-bought fried shallots and you can get that in any Asian grocer, any supermarket really. And I'm gonna add some soft brown sugar just for a bit of sweetness. And I'm gonna blitz that now, but not too much. So you want texture, you don't want a powder. So for this crunch, um, literally a few pulses should, should suffice. Uh, 
and that's it. So the, the peanuts have broken. Uh, there's still some kind of slightly bigger, slightly smaller chunks, but that's what I want. So this a bit not totally uniform. And so this is uh, nutty and sweety and coconutty, and it's so good. And you can keep it in a jar on a shelf for quite a few days and it could go over seafood, over noodles, over rice. It's so versatile and so, so good. So the rice is steaming slowly. I've got this pan here uh, super hot and I'm gonna add some corn. So um, you, can add, you can use fresh corn. Uh, you can use, definitely use frozen corn. So I'm gonna let it sit there until it gets brown on one side and then turn it over. And then I'm gonna do the same with the beans. So you wanna get this kind of nice brown charring all over. So I'm gonna add that to the, this bowl. And I'm gonna put the pan back on again, dry, uh, dry pan, and I'm gonna charge these beans. They had a little bit of um, coconut oil smeared on them, but otherwise it's a, it's a dry pan. And just like with the corn, I wanna get a nice color all over the beans. It's quite important to press them down because they don't come into a lot of contact with the pan. So it's quite important to press them down. You can use a fish slice or even a different pan just to get them really charring. So this should take a few minutes, but they will, they will start softening quite quickly. So I'm just going to turn these over the other side. So they should be charred now. Yeah, that's nice. So you can see how lovely and charred they are from one side. And they kind of char and steam at the same time. So you've got this kind of perfect cooking that gives you flavor and softens the vegetable, which is really what you want here. So I'm just gonna turn them all over. And now another two or three minutes just to soften them on the other side. And the same principle, use a dry pan. Uh, my timer is telling me that that's 15 minutes. So the rice should be cooked now. I'm not gonna check. I'm just gonna take it off the heat. And I'm gonna give it another 15 minutes off the heat. It's, it's important because it carries on cooking and steaming really nicely. So you wanna give it the 15 minutes off the heat. So I'll, I'll take them all out now onto my chopping board. And I'm just gonna grab those beans and just chop them up. It's kind of easier when they're cooked and they keep their shape quite nicely. And the beans then I add to the corn. And then I'm gonna add a bit of olive oil. Everything is still very warm here, so I'm gonna just let that sit for a minute while I get some herbs ready as well. So the rice is gonna get a topping of uh, these grilled vegetables and some herbs. So I've got some mint, and the mint I'm just gonna chop very, very roughly and some coriander picked. So that is kind of what you want. So the rice will look super happy once it gets all these fresh herbs and vegetables. I'm not gonna add my lime juice quite yet because the lime juice causes all those things to discolor. So you wanna add your lime juice at the very last minute. So now it's just a waiting game for the rice and then I can put it all together, plate it, and it looks like magic. So the rice has been uh, resting for about 15 minutes. It should be good, I hope. Oh my God, look at that. It's like a sauna of coconut. It's wonderful. And look at that. That is just perfection. Everything separates so nicely. Divine. I mean, if you could smell that, <clears throat> you'd be really happy. And I've got my corn and Beans here. Noor, you want to help me play it? Yeah. Can't do it on my own, you know. I know. Um, I need to. I've got the charred veggies and I'm adding um, some rice mint. So the rice smells good, right? Mm. I was telling the camera, but he didn't believe me. Oh, rude. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to add a bit of lime juice. Oh my gosh. So, I think I can have a bit more. I think you can. And. A there's oil there already. I'm gonna add a bit of salt and just mix it all up. Oh, that looks so good. It does, doesn't it? It looks fresh. Mm. And um, I thought it would be quite nice to put it on this 
um, on this bowl. Oh, what do nice you think? Flutter. Vintage. Uh, vintage. Vintage. Should we layer? Do you want yeah, me to go wait, in between? Why don't in you between? help me with the layering? So I'll put some of this and you can put some of those mm. herbs and veg. Look at that. There you get a little bit of everything. Like when you when you plate like this, you can actually mm. see how things, you're not just mixing it yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. It's a considered way of presenting food. This is the Altalangi way. Altalangi way, that's the right. The building. And the, the nice thing about the extra good things, because the recipe calls for quite a bit, so you can use some of it here, you can mm. keep some of it from a rainy day, but you can also serve some on the side. So you put as much as you want for it to look gorgeous, which you don't need a lot. Mm. And then you put this bowl on the side with a spoon and people can just help themselves, right? Wow. Which is so nice, isn't it? It's amazing. Mashallah. Good, huh? Can't wait to dig in. I know. It's so nice. Shall we eat outside? It's so beautiful today. I know. It's like we're in the Middle East. Is that a good idea? <laughs> it is a good idea. It is like the Middle East. Mmm. It's a winner. It's a total winner. It's so good. Mmm. The sirens add to the whole ambience. It's really not very glamorous. <laughs> It's not as glamorous as you think. <laughs> <laughs> So for my extra good thing, uh, with this lovely peanut crunch uh, that Yotam made for his rice, I'm going to cook up some baby pak choy in a pan and sprinkle it all over. So I've got my pan nice and hot now with a bit of oil in there. These really don't take that long to cook. I'm gonna season them with a bit of salt and pepper. And then put them right into the pan. And I'm just gonna let them cook for a few minutes so they get nice and soft and brown and then I'll turn them over um, and then finish it off. So my pak choy is taking on some nice color here. It's nice and brown. I'm just gonna flip them over. And I'm gonna add some spring onions that I just roughly chopped up as well. And then let that cook for another couple of minutes and then it's ready. All right, so it's ready now. Everything's taken on a nice color, um, and, but it still has a bit of a bite, which, which I like. So I'm gonna take it off the heat. I've got this little dressing here um, that I whipped up. It's just some lime juice, some freshly grated ginger, some chili, um, and a bit of oil, and sesame oil. Um, so that would be something nice to dress all of your greens with. Just gonna transfer it to a plate. So I'm just gonna pour over this dressing. And then of course, the extra, which is gonna make this dish just really sink, is this lovely peanut coconut crunch. And lastly, I'm just gonna pick some coriander leaves. Okay, that's all done. So this is my extra good thing, some stir fried bok choy with a lime dressing and very, very delicious peanut crunch. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The links to all the recipes are below. And please also add comments below to what you did with your extra good things. <laughs> okay.